What's up, everybody? It's Jason Gray 503 with Blood and Fire Country Club. And we are going to be looking at St. Andrews today. We're doing a international cup tourney. I'm telling you, if you guys don't love your country club or you're looking for one that's competitive and fun and has credit tournaments going on, free credits, competitions, scoreboards, handicaps, you name it, Blood and Fire is the place to be. So St. Andrews, pretty simple course. Um, but this wind, nothing to worry about off the tee. However, if there was like a 20 mile an hour tailwind, uh, you'd want to be careful of the river because the ball could definitely get on up there and jump into that river. This back pin, there's a front pin and a back pin. This back pin is the harder one. Um, talk about it here in a second. So let's look at here. We got 18, nine for the wind, about 70% of that. So uh, it slopes kind of hill down here. You have to, there's a hill here as well. So it's a little bowl. If you land near the pin, uh, it tends to roll back. Although this tailwind might stop that some, you want to be right of the pin, I think. So we aim left of it, allow it to carry over on pin or right of pin. We want to make sure we give it enough or change our spin to get there. So it's about 61, 62 yards with the wind. Uh, this lob wedge carries 61 ish yards and usually spins back. So I need to put some about three clicks of top spin, usually gives it another yard or so and changes the back spin as well. So we'll go about like this. Move the, well, we'll keep the pin in, I guess. And way too much. So this would be a terrible putt. Downhill, right to left, right? Okay. So we want to go here, we'll go back to this. We'll do less top. Must be typing in the wrong numbers. Ah, I did type in the wrong numbers, I think. Yes, I did. All right, let's see what happened here. In my, no, I, I'm typing in the right numbers. So why is it going so far? All right, let's see what happens here. All right, so you see even with the tailwind that popped back two yards, but this wind actually carried the ball further than I was, a little further than I was expecting. Um, so behind the pin, you see what it's looking like here. I'll show you that this is my assumption that bottom right of the pin was better. Okay, stop ball. Not down there. But you do see that middle pin or bottom right of the pin is best. I will say, uh, say below top left pin. Bottom right of it is best. All right, seventy one seven, seven point three, about sixty six percent. Great roll. All right. Um, on St. Andrews, depending on how open the fairway is in the wind, it's a pretty bouncy fairway. So some of them you might choose to put like a little bit of top spin on it, have it land and release out. Um, if you want to control the ball a bit more, you might kind of stick to your typical backspin. So you see here, this is 308. Again, over here is about 344. We could do it. So I'm not sure. Well, let's find out together. It's a little bit of tailwind bouncy fairway with full backspin, which is normally best for me. So it carries most, but with the full backspin, it's not really going to release. <coughs> or do you want to carry less and have it release a lot? If it gives us more total yardage and doesn't put us in danger, then that would be ideal. So let's see. Carry a lot shorter, but the total yardage ends up 316. So a little bit of top spin was ideal here. So 
have a bunch of notes. Some of these notes are outdated from playing different balls and stuff like that. So make sure you update your notes as you go along. So all right. Got 126, up three, a little bit of tailwind, not much. A 126, give or take. That's 127 almost. For me, it's around a nine iron with 80-ish percent backspin. Um, then we need to account for the wind. The wind is going to do something like four and a half, maybe. Each box worth two, something like this. If we'll kick left because of the wind, we find it looks like it's sloping. If you land short, it pushes towards the pin. Uh, going long is downhill. If you land on this ridge where I'm aiming, it kicks it to the left. Again, the wind is going to take it towards the pin. So landing short is probably ideal, and then it'll release a bit, I'm guessing. So instead of going all the way at the pin, I'm going to go a yard or two short, and hopefully it lands like right here, uh, just you know, a little short, little right of the pin, and then rolls up towards the pin. We'll see if that works. Oh, boom, boom, so maybe not. Oh, it still went long. Okay, it went a little longer than I thought. Uh, so long wasn't horrible, just releases two yards, but that was full backspin of the nine iron because of the tail length of this. Uh, right is an uphill putt, so that's not bad. So let's try to execute what we were thinking. So what do we say, about four and a half? And we put it like that, we did nine iron. Let's go 98% or so. That's right at it. It's gonna release two yards again. Three yards this time. Hmm. So tons of release on this course, that's for sure. Having a good spinny ball like the 87 Titleist is helpful. Um, landing short on most approaches is helpful. Especially with any tailwind. Okay, so that was landing where we were thinking and it releases up five or six yards, but wow, 10 yards, because that's kind of a, a downhill where we were. So I've played this, this hole in lots of different conditions. I'm usually in that spot that we're in now. So there's probably ways to boom, boom it. That's 97, it's gonna be too much. So go left of it. Wow. Let's see back here. Okay, don't want that one. So we want to be like right of the pin. All right, one more. Let's see if we can hit this 96%. We hit 96, but it lands short. It just keeps rolling, keeps rolling, keeps rolling. Um, so that first one that we shot, what was that? We shot it full, so this is 17 feet away. We shot it the full 100 yards. It got past that hill. Uh, so, you know, I don't want to do that. It got past that initial hill and then didn't release as much because it landed on flat area, right? land it further by it'll basically stick so going right at it i guess is the way being right of it so we'll say this with a nine iron right so it depends on what club you're bringing into the party well right of the back left one is what we want to do One thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, give or take. It's about forty three percent. I don't know why we have a three hundred meter. We probably need a thirty meter. It is about forty seven percent, give or take. 
misting or ding, misting late, uh, not that late. That late was not the plan. I was trying to misting just a little bit, but it worked out. So uh, I take it back. I meant to do that. All right, so you could do top spin on this one. This, I think, right here, see how it goes downhill, downhill, uphill, uphill. So if you get right here, so you, let's say you're going to land here if you do top spin, it'll roll about there. And it'll probably stop or go sideways. If you do full backspin, see, it normally goes three or four. It'll probably fly out here and stop. So I'm not sure. Probably go on the right hand side here, going this way, top spin is best. Just don't push it and go too crazy. You don't want to go on the rough. That's in the garden. So 288 of the 30, about 315. Probably would have been similar the other way too, but all right, we got 82. Playing about 80 yards, give or take. So probably about 96, 97% of this 80 yard wedge. Um, so this is what the middle right pin or back right pin. Down here, it's going to drop all the way off, so don't miss too far right. Um, yeah, so I think just coming right in at it. I'll try 96 because I think with this headwind, it might stop the ball where it's at or maybe even push it forward a yard, where normally this thing spins back a yard. 97 was actually the number. We'll see. Oh, yeah, so it's still spun back. So it's still spun back two yards. Um, so we'll put back right pin, even with slight tailwind, go right at it with wedges, 80 yard wedge still spun back two yards. All right. So uphill left of the pin. So left of the pin looks great. Let's go bottom middle of the pin. Where's that now bottom right? Downhill and we are, is this above the hole now? No, we're below it. Yeah, we're below it. So this is, Bottom right of the pin, and let's go middle. So we want to be be left of middle right back right pin. Yep, I already have that. So left of it. That's where y'all want to be. Okay. So go right at this pin, especially with your wedges. And there's a little bit of hill there. So jump back a bit. You want to be left of it for the best putt. All right. Do we want to roll up? We can't roll there. This looks pretty flat. So you can go this or you can go the top spin. Let's try the, the two and see which one looks better. So full back spin got us about 312, which is another eight yards than normal. Hit the ball a little better. Ooh. That's Top spin was the winner, right? By far. There's no pads, man. All right. One, four, up to 12. Yes, eighty percent of the win, maybe about one forty-eight, give or take. We can go in at ninety-six percent full backspin. Um, let's see here. This is coming downhill, the right side. So if you miss right or short, it's gonna be there. It looks like it's uphill behind it. So if you go a little far, far, it might roll back down. Um, so I think you go right at it, full backspin. Let's say it lands right here with full backspin. What will happen? 
you know, if it's a no wind or backspin, I think it comes backwards with the seven iron and my ball. I think this might release one or two yards up with the tailwind, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'd like to land it just short, just right of the pin, have it carry on up. So we'll go 95% and see what that does. Looks like that might work out. Let's see here. Yep, landed short, released up four yards. So pretty ideal. So again, St. Andrews, uh, use your spinny ball. Tyler's 87 is probably the best one in the game. I asked some of the top guys earlier today, Thunderbird and Chef, I said, hey, why the 87 ball? They said, because it got a lot of spin and a lot of good qualities, but not too much spin. You start getting the level 95 ball, 100 ball that has even more spin, spins back too much or it's hard to control. Also, the more spin you have, the wind affects it more, which is harder to control. Okay, so right of this pin and letting it roll up is, is the way to go. So, um, back right pin or back left pin, sorry. Be right of it um, with tail wind. Ball will release, seven iron, sun tail released, eight, uh, four yards. So someone asked me earlier, I so, said, hey, I don't really know what to put in my notes. Hey, whatever's working for you, okay? And, and Rafi, if you watch this, maybe you could put a couple comments here on the video, like, because you've got some of the best notes and you post some of the best scores in the club consistently. But, you know, if you get boom booms on things, Post, you know, put in your notes exactly what you did in the conditions because you're going to get those exact conditions or something very similar and you could just copy it, copy and paste, right? So we were testing this out, full backspins to 293. Let's go some topspin. Keep the same line just because of the fairness of it at least. And we blow that away. So... Mm -hmm. Some top spin on almost all these holes. Uh, anyways, so top spin drive. Uh, what was I saying? So take detailed notes. The so the boom booms. What 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 got you boom boom? Some of the yardages or some of the things. Definitely anything that's out of the ordinary. So if you're like like this whole pin, right? You look at it, two hundred nine. Got a tailwind. You're saying okay, it's two twenty away. You know, for me, that's a tough distance to go the full 220 because my three iron flat will get there. But what's a flat three iron going to do? Run away. So I don't want to land it 220 with a flat three iron. Uh, the other ones go shorter. Also, this pin is pretty notorious. You do have this hill right behind it that if you land on it with a ton of spin with maybe a shorter iron, it comes back. A lot of times you hit a ball up, it'll take it like a skate ramp and come down if it's not too hard. So the thinking is, you want to, and this is hilly right here too. You got to be careful. You want to land it short with spin, backspin, allow it to either check up and trickle there or come past the hole and then come back. And with 220 yards, it's hard to, to hit enough spin. So let's try some different things. So let's try the, so this is 208. So if we want to land here. It's eight yards shorter. So let's go 208. 200 or so, so about 210 total, 98% of my three iron. We'll just try that out. So I did pull it and the wind's going that way, so we'll see what happens. So it landed just kind of where we were. Does have the tailwind, so that helps stop the ball. And look, it's still released. But release almost perfect. It did. It, it released perfect. We just in the wrong spot. So, what's that note? Uh, okay, so we'll go front left pin. Play. What do we do? Play nine yards shorter to barely land on green with full backspin. Um, and slight, oh yeah, I'm out of room for notes in this one. So let me see if I can raise something. So 
All right, so you see a note here that's like, it's gonna roll. I think my last note got. Come on, notepad, what am I supposed to do here? Pete, they need you to program this, man. All right, here we go. Delete some of my old notes. So we want to be left to pin or right to pin? Left to pin, downhill putt. So probably right to pin or even shorter. So what do we play that? We played it 98%, give or take. Let's land right to pin 98%. Let's see if it's the same landing on the right side. You know, this hill might be a little different. It might blow past or something. So let's see. And the 205. Pin high, give or take. So ride a pin uphill. Okay. So I think I had a note about that already. Come on, notepad, let me in. How do I get on there? Okay, right of BL pin. Okay, be right of this pin. Give yourself easier putts. Play short on most holes, right? Remember we said that? Oh, I hit the wrong meter or something. Some didn't didn't work out right there. Good line, good line. All right. Hey, I'm curious in the comments, guys, give us some tips. How do you prepare for a match? Or like maybe you got a country club tournament or a WGT tournament. What, what if you're really serious about wanting to play your, oh, don't go in the rough like that. Don't miss with the wind, okay? If you're gonna miss, miss, into the wind. So if it's left to right, miss to left. Okay. So here it is left to right. So I would want to miss early or ding, never late, like I just did in the last one talking around. So back to my question. When you're preparing for a match, what do you, if you really, really want to do well, what steps do you take to, to do your best? Tell us in the comments below. Let's learn together. Let's get some ideas. And I won't tell you now because I don't want to bias what you guys are thinking. I'll respond in the comments once you guys put something in there. All right, is top spin the better one here? I'm guessing yes, it is, man. This thing's a springboard, guys. It looks like almost all holes you want to top spin. So there's a touch of top spin already there. All right, now there are different pin placements on this course. Some courses only have one set of pins. This has multiple pins. So make sure when you're taking your notes, you put you, you talk about which is which, about 86 yards, probably the safest one to do my sand wedge, but I also like to do a lot of topspin here. Um, we don't wanna go past the hole, it looks like. But we might. Yeah, oh, we didn't go all the way down, let's see. Oh, it's actually uphill. So past the pin's not bad, not much break. Do the 80 yard again. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Be short left, maybe, or short right. Short right, downhill putt, not much break. Let's go short left. Be real short, sec. 
pulled it. Short left. So pass the pin's actually the better, the better putt on this one. That's like pretty rare. So which pin is this? This is the bottom middle pin. So past hole's a good putt. I already have no. I'm just doubling up on my efforts here, huh? All right. No holes. Don't go in the bunkers. Don't go in the rough. Uh, is top spin the better? Play here, we shall see. Ooh, lucky. Two, 305 yards even with the headwind, so I already know it is because I hit three or four without headwind, so top spin drive. Oh, I have a flat ball off the tee. So what do you guys think, flat ball? Or the three, what was that? 315, I think. No, 282 and 23, 305. Let's go flat ball. I think I hit it somewhere. Yeah, top spin is the way to go, boys and girls. Top spin. All right, let's do one more. Will full top spin be any better? I think no. I think it's just that like three or four clicks of top spin. Well, I did ding it. That should help a tiny bit. Whoa. Whoa. A lot shorter, but it did run a lot. But the other one was better, right? Yeah, the other one's better. All right. More important is the approach because whether you're a little further, or a little shorter in your drive isn't that detrimental. It helps though to be longer. About 91 yards away. This sandwich goes about 104. So we need to hit it around 90%, maybe 89%. Um, the wind's going to bring it back left to right. Remember, your wedges, the ball's going up in the air a little bit more. It's a little more spin naturally. So the wind should affect it slightly more. Like that. Look at how short that was. Jeez. Yeah. Shouldn't have been that short. Did hit it bad though, but 95, one, 11. <clears throat> well, maybe it should, maybe I, oh, you know what? I did the wrong calculation. I was, I was looking at a tailwind. This is more of a headwind, not, not a strong one, maybe what, 40, 50% headwind. So let's try 96%. No, that's too much. <clears throat> too much. Got in the pin, downhill, left to right. Back right, geez. All right, how about, I got an idea, guys. You guys ready for a crazy idea? Let's go short. 93% should be a little short. Everything's carrying along. What? 95%, 96%, everything's back here. All right. Shall we go 90% again, like we did initially? Hey, hey, short putt. <clears throat> No, I think the headwind was not that much. That's why. It's still, I think this is playing short. So what was it? Short right, downhill putt. So short left is the aim. Was that short left, guys? I think it was short left. Let's go short right. Come on, get over there, wind. All right, short right. Downhill, pretty straight, but downhill. 
So where is the uphill putt? Short right. Let's go around the world. So this would be pin high right. Uh, let's go over here. Pin high left, I guess, is the the aim. <clears throat> Come on, help me out. Help me out. <clears throat> Never yeah. So back right pin, back right pin, left of pin is best. Might play 2% less with sandwich. All right, let's get off this hole, huh? Ramma jamma. Wasn't that much ram and jamma, but you know, good solid putt. All right, part threes. Everyone loves part threes, right? There's a front pin here and a back pin. Back pin, you got to get there. That hill on the back pin, suck it all the way down. So make sure you have enough club there. Front pin, I don't know any secrets yet. Yet. So let's find some, huh? First secret hit the right club or the right, you know, right club, right distance. So let's go for 92 or 93%. 92, a little bit more, but it's too far right. It's into the wind at least, but let's see what happens. So I went pin high, 93%. So the 92 would have probably been ideal. Uh, right of it this far is downhill. So presumably left of it's better. Just do this. 92%. Okay, so what happened here? So the, the distance plays straight up <clears throat> and left of it is downhill. So let's go past the pin middle. Uphill, straight by. So we'll go here, we'll go um, bottom pin, place straight up. Best putt is middle behind the hole. You rate. All right, last hole. Top spin, guys. I think so. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Forty-two yards. Um, so what I like to do, I like to do punches. Anything in under fifty yards, usually. Trying to get my punch distance down with uh, the new ball, the eighty-seven ball. So it's here. I'm doing something like this to. I think I'm doing one percent more and one click of topspin. I think that's what I decided on. So eighty-seven percent, and then eighty-eight percent because a little bit of headwind. 88%. Oh, it's a little too hard. Behind the pin, straight putt, downhill, but straight putt. I think we'll just end on this. So this pin just goes straight at it, right? All right, guys, stay tuned for uh, back nine. Um, but again, the takeaways are, uh, one, know where the good putts are and aim for them. Be okay if you miss, but just aim for the good putts. But on St. Andrews, I mean, all courses, you usually want to be below the pin, usually, right? 
But on St. Andrews, it's springy fairway. So you got to add a couple of clicks of top spin, probably three if you're just clicking the little up arrows. Um, that's going to give you a better drive usually, less so that will roll into trouble. Okay. And you definitely want to land short of a lot of the pins. Allow the ball to release, even if you're using a lot of backspin. And think about how much release is going to be there five yards, 10 yards, rolling up a hill, et cetera. If you're with a wedge or a nine iron, probably won't release, might even come backwards, right? But if you're with an eight iron, seven iron, a tiny bit of release on certain conditions, right? Four iron, six iron, three iron, a lot of release on some of these holes. So don't go right at them and be like, oh man, it rolled way past the green. It's like, oh, okay, well, I plan for that. And think about it. If you, let's say you say, oh, I'm gonna land nine yards short. I think the ball is gonna release up nine yards. Let's say the ball only releases up four yards. Yeah, you got a 15 footer, but it's under the pin. It's usually gonna be a good putt. So if you like this, let us know. Give us any tips you have on the front nine of St. Andrews and uh, come join us, play some games with us in blood and fire country club.